Both morbidity and mortality in large cities can be related to particulate matter from traffic, from power stations, from industry. We've already, we're experiencing nanoparticles and we're experiencing the consequence of this. And asthma, bronchitis, uh, death from, uh, earlier death from lung disease and so on. Now, the important thing to note about this is that relationship, which is well established by Doherty and others from Harvard, gets stronger the smaller the particles. And so they looked at it, first of all, with 10 microns, and then they looked at it at 2.5 microns. And I, I would project that if they look at it at, with uh, less than one micron, they're going to find an even stronger relationship. So again, a modern incinerator converts hundreds or thousands of tons of trash each day into trillions of nanoparticles. It adds to the existing load. But it's more than that. These nanoparticles are the most dangerous of any combustion source because they have the richest supply of toxic elements. All the toxic elements that we use in society, additives to plastic, are pigments, are batteries, and so on, all those toxic metals, lead and cadmium and mercury and thallium and gallium and all the other things that we use in our lovely products, products are eventually going to end up in incinerators. And when they do, it's those toxic metals uh, which are going to end up in the nanoparticles. Those nanoparticles contain neurotoxic metals, stabilized free radicals. Now, this was a surprise to me. I've never heard of the term, and I never even thought about it. But we know that free radicals are devastating when it comes to human health. And I'm sure most of you out there have heard the discussion from particularly from natural health people about the need for antioxidants. Eat your vegetable kids, lots of fresh fruit kids. Take these tablets if you're not doing that. Get your antioxidants. Eat blueberries, etc. Now what are those antioxidants for? They're for mopping up free radicals because free radicals attack the tissue and cause a host of degenerative diseases. That's what it's about. Now we have the potential here if we are producing trillions of particles with stabilized free radicals of dramatically increasing uh, this damage. It will overwhelm our defenses. So I strongly suggest if they build the wretched thing that you take a lot of antioxidants. 